Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. This is Michael Voss, and you're looking at No Sound Bites Allowed. Happy to be here with you. It is now January 31st, and it's a little about 1 a.m. I'm getting to you a little bit late or early today because I was speaking with Larry Sharp on Monday night. We were doing a roundtable. It was really great. I advise you to take a look. The link will be in the description below. We were talking about wokeism. What is enough woke in America? Do check that out. But the reason why I stayed up and why I'm talking to you now is because it was an interesting issue I wanted to cover with you. If you may recall, over the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about the ATF and some of the incredulous claims that they have been making. But there's something else that I noticed about that you may have not have noticed, or maybe you did, and I want to share that with you. So before I get to that, though, I do want to mention, if this is the first time that you're seeing our channel, we want to welcome you and thank you for being part of our audience. We also want you to know that we do long-form political commentary, and every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do a live stream with you to hear your voice from anywhere around the world, either through chat or tweets or phone calls, to tell us what you think is important about what's affecting you around the world. And we do invite you. Just to let you know also, if it's the first time, this is our backup system that we're using, so we're limited in a little bit of what we can do at the moment. Please bear with us. Now, what I'm talking about, it's last week, you may recall, there was a couple of articles talking about the ATF. The ATF has been making a lot of claims recently that make no sense whatsoever. As an example, you may recall, we pulled up this article which came from WKRN out of Nashville, where the ATF was telling people, and they say in the article, quote, it turns a semi-automatic firearm into essentially a machine gun. They're saying they add a small plastic device to a handgun, and it suddenly becomes a machine gun. They go on to say in that article, which will be linked in the description, that uh, so instead of one round being discharged from a firearm, with a single pull of the trigger, when the switch is installed onto the firearm, this little plastic device, you're looking at 1,200 rounds with a single pull of a trigger within a minute. This is coming from an ATF agent to the people of Nashville. It's a lie. It is a complete lie. Because he didn't say it's the cyclic rate, that the rate of fire would increase. No, no, he's saying that you make a single pull of the trigger and you're firing 1,200 rounds in, a, in less than a minute. That's a lie. He's implying that there is magic, like this is Hogwarts. He's implying that this is Robocop or Rambo. You can't do that. I mean, even in modern movies, like with John Wick, you can't pull this trigger once and a thousand bullets come out of there. It's just not possible. But he said that to scare people. He said that to push an agenda to make people afraid of guns and to make them think that guns are what they see in Hollywood so that there could be more power in the ATF to restrict individual gun ownership. Now, part of the reason why they did that, at least as far as I can believe, is when you take a look at the map, and this is the thing I noticed, it's about politics. They said this in Nashville, which I thought was pretty weird. Tennessee, it's a Republican area. Why would the ATF lie to Republicans in a Republican state? Because Nashville isn't Republican. Nashville is Democrat. And so they're going after their Democrat voters in the big cities because they get more votes, they get more support in Congress and in the Senate. So they're targeting them there. And when I noticed that, then I had to say to myself, well, Mike, where else is this possibly happening? What other things are happening? Well, one of the things that kind of made me think of this is in Columbus. In Columbus, and this was on January 27th, the ATF director warns police in Columbus are finding a new dangerous device for guns. This time they're saying it's about 3D printers, but it's the same device. They're talking about the same thing, but they have a different approach this time because the ATF this time Instead of talking about this as uh, having 1,200 rounds, 
instead, what they're saying is that these devices, which are now, uh, they, gone, they will make, and I'm going to read this quote, it's a small piece of plastic. It can be made with a 3D printer. According to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, it can give a handgun more power. Again, the link will be in the description so you can see it all for yourself. He goes on to say that the number of these devices have increased by 570%. He doesn't mention how many. Because five years ago, there might have been one. Today, there may be 57, 570% increase. He doesn't say. But what he does say is these weapons are, as Congress said, unusually dangerous. They're for the military and for the government, yet individuals have misused technology, including 3D printers, to convert semi-automatic weapons, which are legal, into fully automatic machine guns, which are not. Remember, he's talking about handguns. He's talking about transforming handguns. And he's saying that a handgun is becoming a machine gun. That's factually incorrect. It is, by the laws of physics, incorrect. And why would he do that? Why would he make that kind of a statement? Because when you look at the state of Colorado, and in particular, when you, excuse me, Columbus and in Ohio, and you look at the city of Columbus, it's all Democrat. He's targeting Democrats. Again, he wants to scare the Democrats out there who may not be gun owners and are terrified. They see Hollywood, they hear these stories, and they freak out. And so again, I saw this trend that's been happening, something that's a, a bit upsetting to me, because over and over again, we're seeing the same thing happen, that this lie is being, uh, that this lie is being made, and yet they want you to think, be afraid, believe the ATF, do what they say, obey, don't think, just obey. So let me make it clear for you. Then we went over to Phil, uh, Philadelphia. This was on January 17th of 2023. And in Philadelphia, they took a different tack. Now they're talking about ghost guns, which is the same thing we're talking about in when we were talking about Nashville and what we're talking about in Columbus. It's, again, an unregistered device, something made by a 3D printer. This is the new wave, the thing that you have to be terrified of. Now, Philadelphia is a city that has a lot of violence. We know this. It also has a massive amount of gun laws to try and protect the people. At least that's what that was, that was the promise. You just pass all these laws and you will be protected because criminals will stop being violent. They won't use guns anymore. Except that's not the case. It has never been the case. And in this case, from the Philadelphia Inquirer, they're talking about ghost guns that have been recovered and they're telling me that it's a 4,000% increase and that this is the problem. They don't even know how many of these things are out in the streets, except that's not the main cause of gun violence in Philadelphia. Not even close. It's not the main problem with violence in Philadelphia. But they, again, are trying to scare you. And the ATF knows that, well, more people know about guns in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, they're not going to get away with the same kind of extremism that they did in Nashville that they're doing in Columbus. But it is a Democratic stronghold, so they can get away with a lot of it. So then I said to myself, well, you know, let's take a look. What about the city of Boulder? What's going on? And I just went to Google and typed in ATF Boulder. You can do the same thing I can. And what are you going to see there? The ATF calls BS um, gun braces, remember? Gun braces turn handguns into machine guns. That's another device they're saying you don't have a right to own. You have to obey. And if you do this, you will be safe. Because if you, a legal, law-abiding citizen, don't own these guns, that's okay. All gun crime will go away. You will be safe and innocent. Criminals, of course, don't pay attention to the law. Another one of the articles is ATF, uh, Federal ATF Changes Classification of Pistol Braces. They're trying to scare you. Again, they're going to another Democratic city, Boulder, and they're trying to convince people that it's just like the movies, that if you just add a device, this magical device, to a handgun, it suddenly makes it a machine gun, and therefore you're going to die. You're in danger. It's not true. It's never 
been true. You know, I went to another, I decided, let me look at another city. What about Portland? What are they saying in Portland? Well, in Portland, six days ago, the violent far-right terrorists threatened threat to American law enforcement. Who wrote that? Antifa? The far-right in Portland? A city that is dominated by uh, Antifa, BLM, the far-left. The ones who rioted for 120 days in a row in 2020, it wasn't the far-right. It was the far-left. The people who killed innocent individuals, that was the far left, not the far right. The people who are continuing to have autonomous zones and to persecute people for not believing what they are told to believe, that's the far left, not the far right. But they go on. What is one of the other articles? Pistol braces, forbidden spaces, Supreme Court cases. It's again the ATF telling you that a, a pistol brace is turning a handgun into a machine gun in one of the most progressive cities in the nation to terrify people and make them afraid of being able to protect themselves from the very autonomous zones, the insurrection zones, the very same criminals that burned down their city and were holding them hostage for 120 days of rioting. It just doesn't make any sense. Except it does make sense. It makes a hell of a lot of sense when you start thinking about it that they're going after the people who have no idea what's going on and they're terrifying them. They're using fear as their absolute weapon and they're going to the cities where they know they can get the most attention, the most people. Give you another example. This is from Newsweek. Uh, this came out January 27th also. Assault pistol. Is that a real type of gun? This is from the... Newsweek doing their fact check because a politician talking about the Monterey Park shooting where an Asian, not a white man, not even a black man, an Asian man, an elderly Asian man who didn't want to pay a $100 bill to his job for breaking something, decided he should kill eight people. It's horrific. It is absolutely horrific. But in that case, what they're talking about is they said he used an assault pistol. There is no such thing as an assault pistol. Now, if you go through this article from Newsweek, their final decision on this is, well, well, even though there is no such thing, no one has ever called a handgun an assault pistol. Even though there is nothing that would make a handgun an assault pistol, well, we're going to tell you that there needs more context. It's almost true. He's almost right that a handgun can fire a bunch of bullets, that it can be used to assault someone. So therefore, it could kind of sort of be considered that, except every, they had a dozen articles that they were looking up, couldn't find it. Everyone who said, well, well, yeah, they've always called um, handguns assault pistols, except they can't find the articles. It tells you something. Again, you're meant to be scared of a handgun because it's not a handgun anymore. It's an assault weapon. Just like a rifle isn't a rifle anymore. No, no, it's an assault weapon. It's what you see in Hollywood. It's what you see with Rambo. It's what you see with RoboCop. You're supposed to be afraid because the bad guys could fill the air with nothing but bullets. It'd be like rain every time they pull the trigger. They are trying to terrify you. They're trying, and they're doing this. They're not going to any of the big cities and big states that are Republican because I searched. I was searching and searching. I couldn't find equivalent stories with the same outlandish kinds of stories in cities that are mostly Republican. By the way, the big Republican cities, massively smaller than what we're seeing in Boulder, Nashville, uh, what we're seeing in Ohio. They're all smaller. But the stories aren't the same because the people there, which are generally more rural cities, actually know it's not true, that this isn't realistic, that you can't magically tank a handgun and turn it into a machine gun. It will never happen. It's physically impossible. But what they did, one of the things I did find is, of course, one of the things you are always told, that gun buybacks will make you safe. It's yet another promise you have been hearing for decades 
that they're telling this works you're going to be safe and it's going to get rid of those ghost guns remember they told you about that recently all of 2022 ghost guns we got to get rid of ghost guns which aren't the primary source of guns used by criminals or the deranged it's just not it's not even a category that the atf actually uh, follows the fbi do not track that because there's just not enough of them there's just not enough crimes with them but we saw that new york state the government is so screwed up the same government that they're that is promising you that if you just pass one more law you're going to be safe if you just give up a little more of your freedom you're going to be safe that same government new york state one of the largest states in trying to restrict your ability to defend yourself to protect yourself what does new york state have to say they have gun buybacks that this guy one guy out of west virginia made a bunch of 3d printed a bunch of fake guns useless firearms useless and he took them over 60 of them and he took them to new york state and made twenty one thousand dollars because they didn't know the difference they didn't know what they were looking at they had no idea what they were doing and this isn't the first time that we've heard people come in with completely useless guns guns that cannot fire they're functionally incapable of firing and or used rusted broken and these gun buybacks that's what they're buying useless items that do not work and do not endanger anyone and the biggest example was and of course that was from october of 2022 to be fair it wasn't recent but it just goes to show you that they're making this promise oh you're going to be safe don't worry you're going to be safe and then you find out they don't even know what they're talking about they just know how to scare you and they know how to promise you that you're always going to be safe if you just do what they say but it doesn't happen it doesn't come true in fact there was uh, also i want to take a look at this one in new jersey yet another state where you are looking at massive promises from elected democrats promises that you're going to be safe if you just give up your rights that if we get rid of those evil nasty horrible guns you're going to be safe mind you the criminals aren't criminals aren't following that at all the deranged don't care and what do we find out well new jersey does have less guns than almost any other state they're number 49 out of 50 states and they're also one of the highest gun crime states gee does that make sense let's see the law-abiding citizens obeyed their elected officials they have strict regulations on guns lots of gun control they have fewer people actually owning a gun to protect themselves and their family and their property and they're not safer they're not it's a rising gun crime and the problem is the promises don't come true but that story no that's suppressed that's not a big story nationally they don't want to talk about that around the rest of the nation and they don't even want to talk that on the major news stations in new jersey you have to search for this you have to look through all the news to find hey what do you mean new jersey has fewer guns but more gun crime what's going on there you have to search for that article because they don't want to tell you the atf isn't going to tell you they want to take advantage of you the federal government isn't going to tell you they're trying to take advantage of you the politicians they're not telling you they want your votes and your donations so that they can take advantage of you and the and again i'm coming back to the atf in that they are actually lying about the physics they are employing magic to try and terrify you and confuse you and make you obey look you don't have to like guns i'm not telling you you have to go out and buy a gun that's not what the second amendment says it doesn't say you must have a gun and you must be trained in it i'm telling you that you have a right to do so you have always had that right unlike joe biden who likes to tell you a lie and say you can't own a cannon yes you can you can own a tank you can then own an m1 abrams right now you can go and there are 726 maybe 730 
thousand Americans that own actual machine guns, actual assault weapons. You can own a F-16. You can own that. That, and you've always had the right to own that. But they want you scared. So I have to ask you, what are we seeing here? Outrageous claims that involve magic, lies about the functionality and the physics of firearms, in particular handguns, meant to scare people who don't know any better, targeted to people in inner cities where there's fewer guns, and people who are less familiar with firearm and firearm ownership and the proper training of firearms, they're targeting these people. And you have to ask yourself, why are they doing that? Because if you go to Nashville, if you go to Columbus, if you go to New York City, if you go to Newark, if you're going to Philadelphia, you get more people and more Democrats than anywhere else because they just have more of them. And that means they get more power in Congress and they get to get away with more of the overreach and the abuse of power that they are doing right now. You should tell all your Democrat friends, say, gee, just look at the articles that are being presented to you in your Democratic city, your Democratic stronghold, and compare that to the articles that they're putting out in Republican areas. Why don't they match up? Why is the news not the same? Why don't they make the same lies? Why don't they present the same information? Because Republicans who do tend to own more guns and are more of the gun owners of America know better. Why do they tell people in the cities the lies that they won't tell people in the rural parts of America? Because in rural America, they actually know what it is to fire a handgun. And they know you can't magically turn it into a machine gun. It will never fire 1,200 rounds. No matter how hard you pull that trigger, it's never going to happen outside of Hollywood at a movie. And considering people like Alec Baldwin, that's a good dude. That's a really good news. But it's just something that I noticed. And I thought I'd share that with you. Let me ask you, what do you think about that? Knowing now that the ATF is actively targeting Democrat strongholds, cities around the nation, especially in the middle of Republican states, that they are targeting these people with misinformation, actual factual lies, and that they are getting backup from places like Newsweek and MSNBC and CNN who are saying, yeah, it's kind of a lie, but don't worry about it. Just listen and obey. How do you feel knowing that you're being lied to? How do you feel when you find out that even when you obey, you're not any safer? Because the criminals didn't promise to obey. The criminals don't care about how many laws they put out there. They don't care what promise the politicians made to get reelected. They don't care if you feel safe. They know that you aren't safe. How does that make you feel now? How does that make you feel when you see the evidence? And again, look at the links for yourself. Read the articles for yourself. Then tell me that they're giving you, they're telling you the truth. Then tell me that they're making you safe by taking away your rights, your freedoms, and your ability to defend yourself. I look forward to seeing your comments. And as always, I hope you'll be well. Thank you.